done enough bad and I probably would do more bad in my life, you know? But for someone, for, for kids to look up to from where I'm from, hell yeah. I've got, to, I've traveled the world. Half of my friends can't travel overseas and watch me fight because they're not allowed to. Everything seems good when it's going good, eh? Um, man, I was, I was confident. You know? I, I go into every fight confident. I, I'm not, I'm not worried about fighting, or I'm not worried about who I'm fighting. I also got in trouble, you know, from, from, <laughs> from my coaches for just going back into stupid ways, you know. And when I got rocked, I, instead of pulling up or pulling back, which a professional should, I just did the freshie styles and and head down and went forward, you know, and. and Ended up on my ass. So, man, I, I was embarrassed. I got, I got put on show. You know, um, that was my, that was my card. That was my fight. That was my chance. That's life. That happens. I've lost worse things in life: family, people you love, opportunities, friends. Fights nothing. People you grow up with, you don't talk to. People you're with one day, they're dead the next. People locked away, and you don't get to see for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to ride in the back with the tape decks. Came a long way from low wage paychecks. Now we got him. That's why I do this. Um, I do this for him. I do this to give him a better life. Obviously, myself as well. But at the start, yeah, it was this is all for him. You know, I know what it feels like. I want to give him more opportunity in life. I grew up um, different. I had uh, different parents. I had. Uh, I was from a split family, 12 brothers and sisters. He's been to four countries already, he's two years old. Uh, that, that shit wasn't, that's unheard of. I, I'm just lucky I've got to do what I've got to do and, I, and I've showed my family, I, I've, and I've encouraged my family to get out and have a look too. People where we're from, man, we don't really get out of uh, Western Sydney, let alone the country. <laughs> Life is like a maze, lot of twists. This place has made me who I am, and it's made me, you know, have a spot in this world. And I think that that comes from where I'm from, as in staunch, as in being a good person. I'm, you know, I like to be good to everyone, but I still am who I am. You know, that that's that comes from where we're from. That comes from. Yeah, you know, we don't take no shit from no one. We we just that's just who we are. We're good to you. We're good to us. And I think that. I think growing up, and, what, and since I've since I've got to grow up now and, and learn new things, I think it's been the anchor of, of where of who I am and where I'm from. Drug dealers, crims, it's my uncles. That's who we had to look up to, making money. I was very lucky that my first coaches were a part of a crew that that made MMA what it is today in Australia. Uh, EFG, uh, Tama Tahuna, uh, John Pedro, you know, Stevie Ashby, all these guys, these these are OGs. Mark Hunt, man, these are OGs of the sport of, of this country. Uh, uh, and that was just a blessing that they're all from the area. I think I'm, I'm probably the fittest I've ever been. And that comes off the back of and getting, you know, getting smashed and getting beat. And that's, I'm that kid that, you know, that needs that hiding just to, oh yeah, I need to do this, you know what I mean? So, probably help me out.